Hi, this is Suzanne from SL Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble my present teapot box. You can customise this for any occasion and it comes with this cute little gift tag. So let's get started. So here's the card that I'm using. It's from this design pad called Over the Rainbow. and I'm using this one here, which is double sided. So once you have everything cut out, you need to start by folding and burnishing all of the score lines. And then what I like to do is just ink around all of the edges. The one I'm using for this is called Spun Sugar. Okay, so once that's done, you need to take these two pieces and glue them together. So this is going to form the base of the teapot. So I'm just putting glue onto the hexagon and I'm using my quick drying acrylic glue for this. And then put it on top of the other piece like this. So just making sure that all of those score lines are lined up. If you fold the side pieces down, you can start to see how it's going to look. Okay, so once that's all pressed down, you need to find the piece that's on top and the panel that's in the center will be the front panel. So I'm going to apply glue to the two tabs next to it and then attach these to the front panel making sure that it's all lined up along that score line. Then I'm going to apply glue to the two tabs on the front panel and then work my way around. Okay, so now it looks like this. So I've got one side left open and that's where the handle's going to go. Now the handle comes as two pieces and these need to be glued together back to back. So I'm putting glue onto the smaller piece and then making sure that it's all lined up. Then the two little tabs need to be folded forwards like this. Then put a little bit of glue onto each one then attach it to the inside, just a little way up from that score line. And then the last two tabs can be glued into place. Next you need to take the spout piece and you need to apply some glue along this long tab. Fold it in half. And once that's pressed down, just gently bend the curved edges outwards slightly. This is going to make it much easier to attach it to the teapot. Then apply some glue just to the base and position it opposite the handle and then just take a bit of time just to make sure that it looks good from the front, the side and from the top. Okay, so once that's done, you need to take these two lid pieces. Now I've already gone around and folded all of the score lines and inked around the edges. Now these two pieces are exactly the same, so just apply glue to one of the small tabs and attach it to the other piece like this. Then just to give the top a little bit of shape, I like to take my bone folder and gently curve all of those tabs. And then starting from the left hand side, tuck each of those tabs underneath each other and then glue the other small tab into place. Now just try and make sure that all of those corners meet in the center. And when you're happy with how it looks, just apply a little bit of glue into the center just to hold that in place. So now you should have something that looks like this. 
and you can really see how it's starting to come together. Next you need to take this piece and this is going to form the ribbon on top of the lid. Now I've just gently curved it with my bone folder just to make it easier to attach and I've applied some glue to the centre. Now once it's on the lid you need to make sure that those two ends are in the middle. And then glue the ends into place. Now the ends will overhang a little bit but that's okay because you can trim those off afterwards. Okay, so that's the ribbon on the lid finished. Now to continue that onto the teapot, you're going to need this long piece. And just apply some glue to one end and position it onto the teapot. So this is the front of the teapot. And I'm just gonna check, making sure that that's all lined up. Okay, and now I'm going to work my way around the teapot, so onto the base, up onto the back, apply some glue to the other end, and then I'm just going to check again, making sure that that's all lined up with the lid. And then just trim that end off at the back. Check it again, making sure I've got it on the right way round. Yep, that looks pretty good. Okay, so for the bow on top of the lid, you're going to need these four pieces. So I'm just going to start by curving the edges of this piece with my bone folder. Then apply some glue to the centre and bend one of those ends in like this. Then do the same with the other end. And just hold that in place until it dries. Then you need to take this small piece and again, I'm just gonna bend it into shape first. Then apply some glue to one of the ends Attach it to the underside of the bow, wrap it around, keeping it quite loose. And then gluing the other end into place. So whilst that's drying, I'm just gonna show you where these other two pieces are gonna go. So they're just gonna meet in the center like this. Okay, so I'm just going to apply some glue to the narrow end and then position it here so that it's in the centre of that side panel and then do the same with the other one. Just try and make sure that they're evenly matched. Then glue the bow to the centre. Now if you remove the lid, that's going to make it easier to hold it in place. Okay, so whilst that's drying, I'm just going to glue a bit more of the ribbon down. Not quite to the end. And the same on the other side.
and then to give it a bit more dimension I'm just going to curl up each of the ends and that's the ribbon and bow finished. Now obviously you can leave it like this if you want to but I've got a few extra details that I'm going to add on. First I'm going to add some hearts to the front. So I've included three hearts in the template. So this first one I'm just going to try and get it in the centre of the front panel. Then I'm going to put this one below it. And this one above so that they're evenly spaced out. I'm just going to use the three hearts but you could put them all the way around the ribbon and bow if you wanted to. Of course if you're using patterned paper for your ribbon and bow then you may decide not to use these. Now for the final detail I've included this little gift tag in with a template and I've stamped a sentiment onto this one and attached a string to it. Now before I tie it on, I'm just going to show you with this one that you could just tuck it in like this if it doesn't have a string. But if you want to tie it on, then you just carefully feed that string underneath the ribbon there. And tie it into a double knot. I probably should have used a longer piece of string than this. It's a little bit fiddly, but okay, I've done it. So I'm just going to check that's the right length. That looks about right. And then trim those ends off. And then tuck it in as close as possible to the bow, just to hide that knot. And there it is. The little present teapot box is finished. Now, as I said at the beginning, you can customise these for any occasion. They would be perfect for wedding favours. Here's another one that I've made. And for this one, I just used one heart and some sparkly heart gems as well. And this is a Christmas version, so I've used Christmas papers for this one. And I've just left the tag tucked into the lid and used one sparkly heart gem in the centre there. And there they are present teapot boxes for any occasion.